with them they cheat. I'm always leaving. Oh, who say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the heart? And that was Skylar Cole singing the national anthem. A fantastic rendition. What you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb? You can call that mental freeze when these people talk too much. In slow motion, yeah I feel like an astronaut in the ocean Ay, What you know about rolling down in the deep When your brain goes numb You can call that mental freeze When these people talk too much Put that in slow motion, yeah I feel like an astronaut in the ocean What you know about rolling Welcome everyone Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports For this NBA presentation Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Hey, Dave. Thanks very much. Now, improving NBA officiating has gone high-tech. Today, the NBA uses the proprietary game review system, which is broken down from double-digit camera angles. Analysts spend a day or two dissecting each game. And, Kevin, that data is used for evaluating, training, and communication with the teams. Isn't that something? I mean, every day there's something new. Fascinating, fascinating stuff, D.A., thank you. Now the starting group for the Denver Nuggets. Murray and Caldwell Pope, the guards. The forward spots will be Porter Jr. and Gordon. And it's Jokic in at the center position. And for the Mavericks, we've got Wood. Maxi Kleba is out there with Tim Hardaway Jr. Then there's Doncic, and it's Irving in at the two-guard position. The Mavericks GA have been trying to tighten up their defense the past few seasons, and it's beginning to show. And we're seeing signs that the players are getting the message. They're spending more energy at that end of the floor, and that's essential for any elite team. Outside Hardaway. Pass to Doncic. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Murray. Doncic, no good. And so it's Jokic with the ball. He brings it up for the Denver Nuggets. They come into this one following the loss to the Mavericks. Yeah, tough game on the road. The guys you're defending, obviously comfortable shooting in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. Yeah, and it's not easy to do. Much easier said than done, but... They're capable of making it happen. It just comes down, I think, to will and desire. And so the Denver Nuggets get the first points in the ballgame. No good from Irving. Caldwell Pope against Doncic. And shot by Caldwell Pope, no good. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Outside Hardaway. Would a screen on Caldwell Pope. Doncic against Murray. Out of bounds. Denver takes possession. Here's Murray. Boy, he just disappeared against Dallas when they needed him the most. Shoots over Doncic. And the shot is long. Here's Dallas. Irving sets a screen for Doncic. Good on the three-point shot. You know, that's a real key for Doncic. I mean, when the three-point shot is dropping for him, his guardability pulls off the charts. Now here's Murray. Some good scoring numbers for him right now, averaging 17 points a game. The real come at us 
and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Here's Irving. Doncic outside. Wood with the screen for Doncic. And finished off by Wood. Boy, Wood is an absolute load coming down the lane. It's really hard to stop him coming out of the pick and roll. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Here's Murray. An easy two points on the layup. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. And it's Irving missing. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Jokic with the bucket. Boy, good vision that time from Michael Porter Jr. Saw the wide open teammate and then got the pass to him right on time. Now, here is Irving. Nine points last game. Hard away with a wide open look. Off the mark there with the three point shot. The Nuggets leading by four. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Murray looking around. There's the pass to Jokic. Just five to shoot. Gordon for three. It's rebounded by Dallas. Fresh from a win against the Nuggets. And the bench turned up in that one. Whatever they couldn't get from their starters, they got from the reserves. But, you know, you hear about the importance of having depth all the time. Bench players that contribute. And last game, their bench came alive. Here's Jokic. After the made shot from Christian Wood. Outside Irving. You know, almost every team has some kind of roster turnover in the offseason, so Greg, this time of year can be about getting familiar with your new teammates. I mean, there's always a feeling out process this early in the schedule. It's about finding your team's identity, figuring out how all the pieces are going to fit. A baseline J outside for Caldwell Pope. Pass to Jokic. There's the three. And another miss by Denver. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Over in the corner, Doncic. And Michael Porter is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. A different look for Dallas. Mike Powell comes in for Maxi Kleba. And it's Reggie Bullock in for Hardaway. Reggie Bullock. Irving looking for an opening. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. And so it's Jokic with the ball. He brings it up for Denver. Outside Gordon. Kicks it to Porter. Caldwell Pope for three. It's rebounded by Doncic. Dallas is gone. Just one of four from three-point range here in the first. defense by Jokic. Nuggets have gone 4 of 10 shooting the ball here in the first quarter. Jokic's screen. Murray kicks to Jokic. He dishes it to Porter. Jokic against Wood. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. The Clark one stat where Jokic is consistently dominant. Of course his rebound. Well he does everything well but you're right. Season after season, game after game, Kevin, he is eating that glass. He stays near the top of that particular statistic. And he knows games are won and lost on the boards, and he wants to be able to contribute in that way. But he is a brilliant, brilliant player, not just a rebound. And back in 2021, Nikola Jokic became the lowest drafted player to ever win the MVP. The 41st pick of the draft, the first second round pick, to win the award. Looking at who's out there now for the Mavericks. JaVale McGee's checked in for Wood. Josh Green comes in for Kyrie Irving. And it's Nilakina in for Luka Doncic. 
And from second rounder to MVP grade, Nikola Jokic. What a story. Amazing, Kevin. And you know, one thing that Jokic did to transform his game, dedicate himself to his conditioning. Jokic is in much better shape now than when he first entered the league. Now, here is Smith. Here's Jokic. Left side, Brown. Let's a floater go. Goes back up. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. It's on JaVale McGee. Jokic has a nice shot fake and did a good job that time getting the defenders up in the air and drawing the foul. For Denver, they have gone one for two on the night so far from the line. And when you look at that free throw percentage on the season, they're, they're right around 73%. Yeah, it's been a very frustrating season for them in that regard, guys. That one is off. Jokic has such a great basketball IQ, and his creativity is off the charts. He's capable of a triple-double just about every game. He hits the second from the line. And such a young, exciting core for the Nuggets. The MVP, Jokic, Michael Porter Jr., and Jamal Murray. This group has a chance to be a contender for years to come. Here's Nilakina. And it's Jokic with the rebound. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Yeah, the half and half balls are going their way, and that's really a function of effort and intensity. You know, the ball doesn't discriminate. Whoever goes and gets it, that's who owns it. And it's the Mavericks with the ball. Jeff Green missing his last shot. And here's McGee. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And the call up against Jokic. That's his first foul. The Nuggets making a switch here. Ryan's checked in. Here's Nilakina. Feeds it to McGee. And taken away by Brown. Smith feeling it out a bit. Outside Bryant. That shot missing. So the Mavericks will take it the other way. With Jokic, I mean the potential break of this Denver team, they've got so much of it. But what is the key for them to actually reach it? Kevin simply health. I mean, they need Murray and MPJ to be out there. So those two have had major injury issues. Jokic is a generational talent, but the man needs help. And finish off by Bryant. You talk about passing. Smith is one of the best in the game in that aspect. An incredible distributor. Neely Kina passes to Green. McGee a screen. Here's Neely Kina. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Boy, that's a good player missing from point blank range. That's one you got to convert. Brown outside. Outside Green. Off target from outside. Mavericks trailed by four. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. They set the pick. Here's Mila Kina. Their offense stone cold. Another miss there. Smith outside. Odd pass to Bryant. Deft touch on the alley-oop. And it's a six-point nugget lead. Oh my goodness. Say, save that one. I, I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. Virtually impossible to top that alley-oop. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game.
Hardy, he's checked in for the Mavericks. And a switcher also for Denver. Najee's checked in. We've got 108 left to play in the first. On the wing, Green. Pass to Nilekina. Powell with his screen on Smith. Can they get it? And out of bounds as the Nuggets gain possession. Let's see some of the numbers here for Luka Doncic. Fifty-six seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Smith outside. He kicks it to Bryant. Brown outside. Six on the shot clock. Driving inside. From the arc. And there's Bryant. That's good on the assist by Brown. Bryant's got his third basket of the night right there. Average trail by nine. We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. There's a good screen. Green with the ball. Now Smith defending. Bullock good. For real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now Brown. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Ryan in the post. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. Powell is a really reliable defender. I mean, he's excellent using his length and his quickness to throw shooters off. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Nuggets lead by six. We're back after this from American Airlines Center. We've played through one quarter in this one. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Nuggets. Their chemistry. That's what really stood out so far in this one to me. Look at the number of assists they've been able to rack up so far. Also, they're getting into the teeth of the defense. Points in the paint. Something coaches always love to see. The Nuggets leading by six. On the floor for Denver as we get going here in the second quarter. The forward spots will be Porter Jr. and Gordon. Ish Smith is out there with Murray. It's Najee in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now here's Porter. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Dallas. Fans are really excited to see Michael Porter Jr. finally get back to his previous form, aren't they? Yeah, Kevin, that 2021 season, he exploded, simply blew up. Averaged 19 points a game that season and made 44% of his threes. He's got the potential to be a real force going forward. Free throw good. Porter. During the summer of 2021, the Mavericks had some major changes. Longtime head coach Rick Carlisle left after 13 years in Dallas, and they also got a new GM. Tim Hardaway Jr.'s checked in for Josh Green. And Porter drops them both. Coaching staff changes aside, Clark. The front office moves affect players that much? I think they do, Kevin. It's hard for them not to. Normally, we see a flurry of trades or free agent signings. We saw it with the Mavericks trading away Christoph Porzingis, changing the composition of their squad, going in a different direction. So that'll take some adjusting to. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much. Now, from the step back to his attacking style, some have compared Luka Doncic to the beer, James Harden. There are some similarities, Harden said. Being able to dictate and control the game like he does 
He never lets anyone speed him up, and he gets what he wants. Back to you, Kevin. He always has. They're both pretty fun to watch. David, thank you. Got to give it up for Powell now. I mean, he excels in rising off the ground to punch home these alley-oops. Moving against Murray. Pass to Naji. Takes the three. It's rebounded by Doncic. Doncic has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. To the paint. And the dunk by Doncic. Irving showing you he's a frame ahead of his opponent with that nice imagination on offense. Smith the pass to Gordon. Porter looking it over. Deep two for Murray. And for with a new 14. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Mavericks. Only given up two points this quarter. To the middle. And the shot is good. The Denver lead has been cut down to two on the bucket from Hardaway. Hardaway has got his first two points of the night. Smith against Doncic. Smith in the post to the left side wing. Murray the pass to Naji. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. With maturity comes greater patience, understanding how to play smarter. Murray keeps his options open and finds a teammate who's gotten free. Now, here is Irving. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. And Doncic, here we go. Hardaway from outside. The shot that time, not on target. And it's Denver the other way. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. And at home for the next game, it'll be Detroit pulling into town. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Here's Porter. And that one drops. Porter's got four this quarter. And that's Porter Jr. Shows nice follow through on the shot, even through the contact. Irving passes to Doncic. Shoots it up. Irving misses. The Nuggets leading by six. Here's Smith. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Greg, we know from time to time things get pretty chippy out there. What kind of things would get under your skin when you played in the NBA? Oh, you know, guys tended to talk a little trash, and that could rattle you. That, that could bother you at times, but you really just try to maintain your focus and keeping your eye on the prize. First free throw is good. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. One way to protect the lead, knock down those free throws. And 100% free throwing for the quarter, that's superb. Here's what Denver's going with right now. Jokic comes in for Zeke Naji. And it's Caldwell Pope in for Jamal Murray. And good on the second, so he makes them both. I think it's pretty clear, Greg, what the goal is for this Denver organization long term. It's simple, Kevin. Make it to the final. The, the Nuggets have never been there. They've been close reaching a conference finals on more than one occasion. And here's Caldwell Pope after Luka Doncic hitting the three. Caldwell Pope passes to Jokic. Wood with the block. Boy, the length and activity of Wood making a huge impact here. Doncic finds Irving. Back to Doncic. Outside Irving, jacks up a three. Jokic craps the miss. Jokic has got rebound number five here tonight. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. You know, this Denver team used to run a lot. But over the last few seasons, they've significantly slowed down their pace. And the Nuggets start playing slower. More half-court basketball. Why? Well, I think it suits the game of multi-time MVP Nikola Jokic. I mean, the Joker is a maestro in the post and on the perimeter as a passer and scorer. So he dissects opposing defenses 
from anywhere on the court. And the staff has adjusted how they play to fit Joker's skill set. That's a smart move. Dallas making a switch here. McGee's checked in. Jamal Murray, he's checked in for Denver. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And Clark, don't you have to admire the way the Mavericks are always looking to compete? Yeah, I like that, Kevin. It's a good point by you. It starts at the top of the organization. I mean, the team has really avoided any kind of lengthy rebuild to their credit. They want to win, and this team uh, is definitely capable of doing that. When you play with Luka now, Doncic, he's ready to find you if you're open, so you've got to be ready to receive. Here's Murray. Takes it off the glass. Murray's got his second bucket of the night. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Irving with the ball. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Hardaway for three. Second chance shot. Count it. And the Nugget lead has been cut to just five points in the basket from Dodger. Luka's a big 6'7", very strong, deceptively so. He's an extra forward out there rebounding the ball, even though he's got point guard skills when it's in his hand. Timeout is called first of the game for the Nuggets. Bullock, he's checked in for Hardaway. Brown, he's checked in for the Nuggets. And they rank third in free throw percentage. A huge advantage in games where there's a lot of fouling. And what their turnover ranking tells you is that they play mistake-free basketball. Being smart with the ball is at the top of their to-do list. Here's Murray. And there's the pass to Jokic. Addition now to Brown. Pass to Jokic. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got his third assist on the night. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. And you knew things were going south for Irving and the Nets when they couldn't agree on a contract. He was eventually traded and is a big talent boost to this team. Kyrie still has all the talent in the world, even if it comes with some risk. Free throw, good Irving. Clark, how about the Nuggets? This core has really delivered. Yeah, I like the young nucleus there, Kevin, led by the Joker, Nikolai Jokic. I mean, one of the best in the West. Um, I think they've built a perennial contender, definitely back on the map and in the thick of things. Got to get Porter Jr. and Murray healthy. He's off on the second. And, and Kyrie Irving, a Picasso with the ball in his hands. And like a lot of genius level creators, he marches to the beat of his own drum. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. 
and continuing to press their advantage. They're not taking their foot off the gas. Doncic right side. And they double up Doncic. They kick it out to Green. Five on the clock. Sinks the three-pointer. You know, Greg, Kyrie sometimes is just a tough guy to figure out. And the danger is pulling too much in your own direction. He, even he confessed regrets about in Cleveland withdrawing from teammates and isolating himself. All part of growth. Now here's Green. He's coming off a 16-point game against Denver. And Doncic throws it down. Boy, from the moment he entered the league, Doncic has been an immediate star, capable of big nights just about any time he's on the court. Here's Bryant. He has seven. This is it to Murray. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got three assists now in this one. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Now, here's Doncic. 32 points for him last game against Denver. And how about the job he did rebounding as well, guys? I mean, just the dominant performance on the glass. It's just been a brutal outing for him. He still hasn't managed to make a shot, and the team is struggling because of it. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. You know what, guys? Honestly, I didn't think he'd win that battle. I mean, that's a lot of height to give up. Perfect. And too long on the shot. The Nuggets leading by seven. Down low. And Jokic throws it down. At almost seven feet tall now, Jokic can definitely throw it down. And he's happy to remind defenses that he can do so. And the Mavericks call time here. Checked in for the Mavericks. And Denver with a change here, too. Green, he's checked in for Nikola Jokic. Trailed by nine. Here's Nilakina. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Doncic left side. And they double up Doncic. Six to shoot. Drops in the tray. Man, good to see Nilakina square up from deep. Has the size and touch needed to knock home these threes. Aldwell Pope wishes to Bryant. Kicks it to Murray. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's on Luka Doncic. I mean, talking about Jamal Murray, man, is he talented. But he has had his difficulties staying on the floor. And, Greg, that's been so unfortunate, and I feel for him. I mean, you can tell how frustrated he's been with the injuries that have saddled him. Because this is a guy you can tell who absolutely loves to play and wants to prove 
he can be counted on and the injuries have just stonewalled him a bit the last couple of seasons. We throw good Murray. One of the stars of the 2020 bubble playoffs Jamal Murray. I mean remember he had a 50 point game and Murray averaged over 26 points helped Denver make it to the Western Conference Finals. We saw Jamal take his game to another level in Orlando. And the Mavericks making a change here. Hardy's checked in. And so Murray nails both of them. To get where you want to go as a team, you need big game play. There's no way around it. And historically, Murray tends to play his best on the biggest stage. Here's Hardy up again. It's good on the putback. A, a tough start scoring the basketball, but they're starting to turn it around now. Yeah, it looks like they've gained a little bit of confidence as the lid has come off the hoop. Now here's Murray. He's got 10. Here's Bryant. The Nuggets with another miss. Average trail by six. Bullock passes to Hardy. Neely Kina looking it over. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. That's a jump ball. Bullock passes to Hardy for Murray. With the second effort, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Boy, for a seven-footer, he's got really good bounce, does JaVale McGee, and doing a nice job working on the glass there. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Now at the line for your batters. JaVale McGee. Mind the lane. Mind the lane. One shot. The free throw off from McGee. Well, you look at McGee and the career resurgence he's undergone, guys, outstanding. I mean, when he's been in the right situation, he's been very effective. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. Murray for three. Mavericks with the rebound. Green the pass to Hardy. Pass to Nilekina. McGee with it. It's hauled in by Brown. Dishes it to Murray. Back to Brown. Ryan in the post. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got five assists tonight. He does not lack for confidence. He shouldn't. I mean, this guy's a dangerous scorer. And so it's the Denver Nuggets in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks a lot, guys. With Mike Malone, as the second half approaches, Coach, what are you looking for? Execution, pace and purpose with everything that we do, uh, and making sure that when we call a set, we know what we're trying to accomplish and get the ball to where our players can be effective. We'll see if they can fix that in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. It is a wonderful night for basketball and a wonderful time to get a quick, wonderful rundown of how the wonderful West looks early on in this wonderful season. Is that too many wonderfuls? No, you're wonderful. Well, right now for Denver, they've had a great start to the season as we thought they might. They play together, they play for one another, they're well coached. This team is a team to watch for the rest of the year. And how about the first half for the Joker? The ultra-skilled big man putting his imprint on the game so far. Man, I love his mentality. Man, refusing to back off those selections inside, man, 
He's in attack mode. And Full I'm sure, attack. Yeah. I'm sure defensive corrections are a big part of discussion in that locker room right now. Thanks for joining us. Now let's toss it to Kevin Harlan for the start of the second half. We've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. You know, Luka Doncic has been exceptional here, guys. And the way that he has helped out with the ball movement has been a difference maker early on. And, you know, that's not a job they ask him to do very often. But in the first half, I thought he was in perfect sync with his teammates. We've got Maxi Kleba. Kyrie Irving is out there with Luka Doncic. Then there's Hardaway. And it's Wood in at the five. That's the five to begin the second half for Jason Kidd. Now Irving following the miss by Michael Porter from deep. Here's Doncic. Finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out. Doncic has got 16. You know, Luka's one of those players where the mid-range shot is really a weapon for him. Not just an afterthought. I mean, he is lights out from that distance. Jokic sets the screen for Caldwell Pope. The shot, no good. And it's Dallas the other way. It's off to Boston for him after this game as they take on the Celtics. And that one will start off a three-game road trip for the team. Outside Irving. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Wood against Jokic. To the inside. Caldwell Pope, Kleba with the rebound. And out of the gates here in this second half, they have not started well. 0 of 3. Doncic against Caldwell Pope. Count it, and the Nugget lead has been cut down to two on the bucket from Hardaway. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. And it's Murray with the jam. I think when you're guarding Murray, you're always worried about his jump shot, but he's also deadly off the bounce, so pick your poison. Murray against Doncic. Hardaway from outside. It's hauled in by Michael Porter. And not a night he's going to want to remember, just not really able to score the basketball. Jokic with his screen on Doncic. Murray, no good. Ooh, and this is turning into a slow start here in the second half. Seems like they left that offense in the locker room. The pass to Kleba. Floats it up for Wood. An emphatic alley-oop jam. Wood flying up to slam down the alley-oop emphatically. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Denver calls timeout. Can you talk about believing in yourself? Man, how about Christian Wood? Greg, self-talk and self-confidence is critically important at this level. And, you know, this guy, Christian Wood, was cut or waived from four NBA teams. Wasn't on an NBA roster for an entire season. Finally broke through with Detroit in year five. And there's no turning back now for the big fella. making a change here. Powell's checked in.
Doncic with the steal. Inside, knocked loose, and stolen by Gordon. Murray outside to the left wing. From deep, Jokic. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Jokic has got 13. A lot of times, Jokic has created a jump shot for somebody else, but he's just as good a receiver as he is a distributor. And that's pretty impressive for a seven-footer. Now, here is Irving. His numbers are looking pretty good. He's got his scoring average up around 18 and a half points a game. Clock at four. To the inside. Wood sinks that one from the post. Wood's got four points in the quarter. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. You know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. That was a second look at our mobile one drive. Amazing control on display. And a close game like this, you've got to dig deep and just find a way to make things happen. Here's Jokic after the made shot from Christian Wood. Great open look there. He's got 15. Another high IQ pass by Jokic. I mean, he knows all eyes are on him, so he gives it up to a ready shooter. That's just good basketball. Now, here's Doncic. He's got 16. And they double up Doncic. Irving for three. And it's Denver with the rebound. Jokic has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Yet yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he's shot so poorly. Doncic with the block. You know, he's not super fast, but the reflexes of Doncic are quick. He's able to jump on the shot and take it away. That's just instinct and understanding how to play. The Nuggets leading by six. Porter passes to Jokic. Caldwell Pope kicks the Porter. Crosses over. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Greg, looking at the shooting numbers of Michael Porter Jr., they're off the charts. I mean, his first full year in the league, Porter Jr. was top 20 in field goal percentage, top 10 in three-point percentage. Incredible numbers for a 6'10 wing. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. They throw good, Porter. And, you know, when Porter Jr. is healthy, I mean, he's got a lot of game. This guy is versatile. He's got good size. He's a multi-dimensional talent. Catching up on the changes for Dallas. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for Christian Wood. Green comes in for Tim Hardaway Jr. And Frank Nielikinas subbed in for Doncic. And a switcher also for Denver. Najee's checked in. And Porter drops them both. And among NBA bigs, he is known for his ability to deliver at the free throw line. Outside Irving. From the line, and he gets the bucket. Irving's got five points so far. You know, I like Irving's creativity, but also his discipline offensively. He'll take whatever's available. Marie finds Jokic. Outside Porter, a three. And another miss by Denver. Mavericks trailed by six. Now here's Powell. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. Denver's gone two of five with the three-point shot since coming out of the break. Murray outside. It's tipped. Like seeing Powell flex his muscle on the defensive end. Really good at timing his jump to block the shots. Look at this little fella going in there and eating up some glass. Irving passes to Neely Kina. Irving against Murray. Pass to Neely Kina. And it's Jokic with the rebound. Jokic has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Murray, the pass to Porter. Here's Jokic. Gordon with no one around. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. And the Nuggets lead by eight. 
Jokic never lacking in terms of getting his body involved, throwing his body around, using that bulk and power to grab rebound. Now here's Paul. There's Green with the three. Carries it from three-point range. Green's got his second basket. Yeah, I like the feel Neely Keener showed there. I mean, nice sense of where he was and what was available. Murray, good. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. Passes it to Neely Kina. Plays it up and banks it in. Neely Kina's got five. And Neely Kina's skilled, really skilled at getting good position in the post. I mean, he uses his quick instincts and understanding of the positioning to score inside. Denver calls timeout. in for Kyrie Irving and then for Denver. Ryan is checked in for Jokic. Brown comes in for Michael Porter and it's Green in for Aaron Gordon. The Nuggets leading by five. Green passes to Najee. Brown inside, working on Green. Another shot. Green with the rebound. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And looking at Reggie Bullock, boy, he's had quite the ride as a pro. Yeah, he certainly has, Greg. I mean, he's been a lot of places during his eight-year career, but the thing I like, no matter where he's been and what uniform he's worn, he knocks down shots and does exactly what's asked of him. He throw good, Bullock. He's perfect from the line this time. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. The Nuggets leading by three. Murray outside. Pass to Najee. Denver passing it around. It's stolen by Green. And it's the Mavericks on the break. Dishes it to Powell. Two minutes. Shot clock at five. Count it. And the Nugget lead has been cut to just one in the basket from Green. Powell doing a nice job recognizing when to give it up. He, to me, is the epitome of a valued utility player. Knows his role. And, yes, it's good. And that's now 19 points for Jamal Murray. Shots are just flowing him right now, having a really strong quarter. To the paint, Green kicks to Powell. 
here's Nilakina. He has five. Over Bryant. That one wide left. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound and advantage is starting to add up. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the boards, we're certainly seeing the effort. Now here's Bryant. 11 points in the game. Murray dishes to Brown. Over Green. Can't cash in from the high post. That's one he knows he should have drained. Hardy passes to Green. To the right side. For the tie. Denver grabs the miss. Murray's got his fifth rebound in this one. There's 31 seconds left to play in the third. The kick out to Brown. Bryant with a screen for Brown. On the wing, Green. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got his sixth assist on the night. And Green's become a dependable three-point threat. If you don't get a hand in his face, he can certainly knock those down. Let's it go from deep. And that one is off. What a performance by Jamal Murray. He has been the story for Denver. Between his points and his rebounds, he was a star for him in that quarter. Back right after this. A chance now to hear Jason Kidd talking to his team moments ago. It's not going to be easy. Come on. It's nothing is. It's not going to be easy. Let's go. Defense. One, two, three. Defense. Jason Kidd moments ago in his huddle getting everyone focused and amped up to take on these next few moments. Yeah, and an emphasis really on forcing stops. Something Coach did very well back in his day when he was playing. Well, let's see if they can live up to his expectations. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. And Denver will start the fourth quarter with. Out on the perimeter, it's Caldwell Pope and Porter Jr. Gordon steps in at the four with Jokic in at center. And it's Murray in at the point. Now, here's Jokic. And the baseline jumper no good. Caldwell Pope against Irving. Now the pass to Wood. Another three for Dallas. And it's official. He have come all the way back. At one point, this thing seemed to be out of reach. I did not think they had enough clock to get all the way back, but here they are. And now they've got to feel like they're in control of this thing. Porter, no luck. Boy, defense non-existent there. But they catch a break as he whiffs it. Down low. And he lays in the alley-oop. Woods got the lead up to two now for Dallas. Tremendous production from Wood tonight. When he gets enough touches, you can expect big numbers. Murray against Dutchess. Murray outside. Jokic with a screen on Dutchess. Wide open look here for Murray. They can't stop the run with that one. Dallas has gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Doncic dishes to Irving. Here's Wood. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got his eighth assist in the game. Oh, great ball movement there. Denver calls timeout.
got some time to check in from the sideline. What you got for us, D.A.? Thanks, Kevin. Well, Mike Malone had some words for his team during the break. Not happy with the way this game is going. He said, you're getting used out there on the perimeter. Inside the arc, we're doing some good things, but outside, we're a disaster. Tighten it up. Kevin, we'll see if they can close out on those shooters a little more effectively. Thank you, David. The Nuggets trail by four. Gordon with a screen on Doncic. Pass to Jokic. Looking to end the run. Good D by Wood. For Dallas, they've gone a perfect 4-4 four four to start the final quarter. Can't ask for anything more than that. Here's Irving. Doncic trying to get open. And Irving gets it to go on the assist by Doncic. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Murray, the pass to Jokic. Christian Wood grabs the rebound. Wood's got rebound number five here tonight. How about this run, Craig? They're on right now. Wow. I mean, they're just getting to their spots and executing, really keeping things simple. Now, here's Bullock. Irving for three. And it's Jokic with the rebound. You know, even though they have the lead, you can tell he's frustrated with himself that he's not doing more. Murray, no good. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough patch here. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good shot. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Murray kicks to Jokic. Passes to Porter. The Nuggets moving the ball around. Hands it from downtown. And, and dialing up the three ball, he finally puts it in to the 14-0 run by Dallas. Irving against Caldwell Park. Doncic outside. Oh, trying to free himself up. Doncic, no good. And so it's Jokic with the ball. He brings it up for the Nuggets. Murray outside. Back to Jokic. Pocket six. Porter finds Murray. From deep three-point range, Doncic with the block. Out to Hardaway. Fires from deep. The shot's good on the assist by Doncic. Hardaway has got the lead up to eight now for the man. Denver's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Jokic with a screen on Doncic. Here's Murray. Doncic with the block. And he's really trying to get them back into it, but the results just have not been there. Here is Irving. Doncic right side. Good trying to free himself up. And Doncic gets it to go. And now a 10-point Maverick lead. The Nuggets shooting 38% from the field. A pretty weak showing for them. Jokic with the screen on Doncic. Murray the pass to Jokic. Porter kicks to Murray. Pass to Jokic. And Jokic slams it in. And way to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the ba the basket guy still shaking. Oh, I tell you what, he loaded up as much power as he could behind that two hand. Now here's Doncic. Now Bullock back to Doncic. The kick out to Irving. A three pointer, no good. And maybe, you know, he thinks he can shoot himself out of the cold spell, but I don't think that's the case. Maybe somebody want to tell him that he's up off the threes. Here's Murray to the middle, trying to find Jokic. Gets it to him. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Too big, too skilled. Jokic just methodically breaks you down. He's a very unique player. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Mavericks. And they're playing beautiful basketball right now. Racking up the assists 
by playing so unselfishly, just finding the open man. And you know, they've done a fantastic job scoring inside as a result, finding plenty of opportunities to cash in near the hoop. Powell, he's jacked in for Dallas. Makes both free throws. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Yeah, they're making the most of their opportunities at the stripe, and they'll need to keep it up to take the lead. Dallas calls timeout. Here's Doncic, shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Jamal Murray. Doncic, because he's so skilled and so savvy, he does a nice job forcing the defense into tough spots when they're guarding. That free throw good from Doncic. And you look at all the things Doncic can do. One in particular, he can control the pace of the game. And Greg, I love that about him. His size, his strength, his savvy, his skill set. You really can't speed him up at the offensive end. Everything he does is at his pace and his tempo. He methodically breaks you down. Free throws good from Doncic. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. Now here's Murray. Shoots over Doncic. Jokic finds Gordon. Back to Jokic. Outside for Caldwell Pope. Shot clock at three. That's in. Coming off the assist from Jokic. Very effective at spacing the floor. Contavious Caldwell Pope has gone from an average outside shooter to a dangerous one. Irving with the ball. Back to Doncic. Powell trying to free himself up. And that one's good. Doncic. Doncic has got 22. That's just a fantastic decision from Doncic. Seeing a chance to go to work inside and taking it. Murray, the pass to Jokic. Porter kicks to Murray. The 
pass to Jokic. Fires for three. Murray, no good. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Irving drives in, uses the glass to finish the layup. And it's a nine-point Maverick lead. And they're scoring much more efficiently here in the second half. And they've gotten that field goal percentage above 50. I tell you what, any team will take that. I mean, if you're shooting over 50%, it means you're getting the kind of looks you want on offense. And you're being smart about it. And you're knocking down the good shots that you get. And that one's good, Irving. And the confidence Irvin has is, is something I really appreciate. I mean, he's ready to shoot it as soon as he gets it and not afraid of any kind of shot. Now oh, here's Murray. And they get it. And it's Jokic missing. Mavericks leading by 12. Bullet kicks to Doncic. with a screen on Murray. And it's Doncic missing. Denver's got a disappointing 2-6 on three-point attempts here in the fourth. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. And Murray not afraid now of anybody. In fact, he welcomes getting fouled on the way up. Jamal Murray taking two shots. First one falls for. Good on both. Dallas calls timeout. They're leading by 10. 125 left in the fourth quarter. So it's Dallas with Powell, the pass to Bullock. Irving against Murray. 112 left in the game. Here's Bullock. Here's Powell. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. 
Howell's got the lead up to 12 now for the man. No question as to which team gave the better effort tonight. A dominant performance and an outstanding win for the Mavericks. You know, a team can have a great shooting night without getting a lot of assists, but tonight they had both. Yeah, and listen, you only get the assist if the guy you give it to makes the shot. So a lot of assists will up your field goal percentage, but this is a great team effort by everyone. And this will be a big win for them. Lucky win number 13 now in the bag. And as we get set to put this one to bed, a one-sided season series thus far. They've won two straight. Yep, but two more to go before the end of the season. And they'll obviously be very confident heading into those two games. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Luka Doncic. Boy, I thought he did a little bit of everything out there tonight. Notching the triple-double in style. He was a difference maker. Now, here's Doncic. So we see the Mavericks taking the win here. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. Once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Kevin, thank you. Hey, Luca, another win for you, but the games keep coming, so what's the most important thing for this team to establish? I mean, compete, you know, the way we compete today from the start till the end. Uh, the game is never over, and just compete. I think it's important that you compete. Congrats on the win, man. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Alden. This is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. Now, let's check out our New Balance player of the game, Luka Doncic.